Helen Saunders is probably the most exciting modern artist you've never heard of. My name is Rachel Sloan. I'm Assistant Curator of Works on Paper here at the Courtauld and the curator of Helen Saunders' Modernist Rebel, the first exhibition on this artist in over 25 years. Helen Saunders was a pioneer of abstract art in Britain. She was one of only two women to join the Vorticists, the most radical art movement to emerge in London on the eve of the First World War. Vorticism uh, came about as a response to developments in, uh, in France, particularly Cubism, and Italy, particularly Futurism. It celebrated the modern city, it celebrated uh, the machine, um, it also celebrated the, um, the, the dynamism and indeed the, the violence of modern life. Helen Saunders took part in both of the Vorticists' uh, major exhibitions in London and New York, and she also played a very important role in the creation and publication of their periodical Blast. Following the end of the First World War, the Vorticists disbanded. And in the subsequent years, much of Helen Saunders' work was lost, uh, in large part due to the loss of her work in the bombing of her flat during the Blitz. Unfortunately, her reputation also suffered from the diminishment of her male Vorticist colleagues. It was only in the later part of the 20th century that her work began to be rediscovered and newly appreciated for its importance to the story of modernism in Britain. Although a lot of Saunders' work was destroyed, some of it remained within her family, ultimately passing to her relative, the artist Bridget Pepin. And Bridget Pepin very generously gifted 20 of her drawings to the Courtauld in 2016. These 20 works offer an excellent survey of her career, starting in her early days in the orbit of Roger Fry and the Bloomsbury Group, moving into her Vorticist period, and ending with the, some of the work that she did in the 1920s when she was developing a new style. This gift has made the Courtauld the largest public collection of Saunders' work in the world. And this exhibition not only celebrates that gift, but brings her work to a new audience.